Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Deep Rock Galactic. Today, we're going to be looking at another overclock. Uh, I actually wanted to try a strange build out. I guess I'll do it with my desert kit, because why not? I wanted to try out the marked for death overclock. Because I feel as though there might be some juice to be squeezed, even though it uh, is probably not that great with the uh, with the scout. Uh, the clip size is going to be. Oh, I guess uh, killer focus has no effect, so you're just forced to use extend the clip, so the clip downside isn't actually that bad. Do I want to do anything else? I, mean, I think hitting it where it hurts is a good one. Fast focus shots also make sense. Yeah, okay. I think this will be my build. And then for my secondary, I wanted to use the Zukovs, specifically the embedded detonators. And I wanted to see if I can do like some crazy ass build involving the this combo uh, i kind of want to think i'm going to go expanded ammo bags as well yep that's going to be my build and i'm going to go dreadnought hunting so i think that would be really awesome as a combination and we're going to be doing it on has 5.25 what i've dubbed having one beach thingy done it's called sad run that's not very not very promising. I'll just preface this entire video right now. I do these overclock reviews with, or I guess first impressions, with uh, a solo play in mind. So I imagine with a team of four dwarves, everyone doing plus 50% more damage is going to be really, really, really considerable. So I'm just marking down that sort of bias in the rankings right now. Alright, how much nitro are we getting? 33. Not the greatest for cave nitro, but each uh, each dreadnought container usually has a decent amount of it. Guess I'll dig through here. So, for those who haven't used the embedded detonators, I might as well say what my game plan is. I basically, uh, the embedded detonators, what they do is they put little minelets inside an enemy and then when you reload, they explode or just like an absolute crap load of damage. You can actually use this to like skip phases in the dreadnought, I believe, unless I've been misinformed, but that's been my like experience with it. So I figured if the explosions could do 50% more damage, we might be able to get up to some crazy ass shit. I'm not necessarily going to go for like a full... Oh, cheese with it. But there's, there's things you can do where like you have your Zukovs reload with the reload perk and then... Uh, just get more and more mindless to just 100 to 0 dreadnought. I'm not doing anything crazy like that. I figure we might be able to burst the shit out of it. Dude, can these fucking guys screw off? I need to take a moment to actually clear here. Or else I'm going to actually lose this mission. Okay, cool. Bosco, mine that shit. Where's this guy? Here you are. Get friggin' poisoned. Little, little dookie monster. Oh, there's a bunch of little dudes. Not a fan. Okay, we're gonna have enough nitro for a resupply. What the fuck is Bosco doing? Can you come over here? Did I accidentally mark that guy? Wait, does Bosco automatically attack a marked for death target? Or did I like control click him? I don't think I did. Uh, what grenade am I running? Oh, my good old IFG. How I missed the... I was running the cryo grenades because I... Uh, 
was running the um, inductive thermals last time I played. And, like, I, I like the cryo grenades well enough, but they do, they, they alter my grenade math too much, because they feel a lot more precious to use. Which is not great. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alrighty. Dreadnought Hive Guard. Probably not a bad matchup. Now we just need to get these guys. Oh, I'm on fire. Not in a good way. Oh, it, I think it does actually mark it. That is zany. Wait, how's it, how did it get unmarked so quick? Excuse me? Okay, interesting. These guys might have some sort of, like, tenacity buff or something that causes them to be marked for less long. Okay, can I hit you anywhere? I can't hit anywhere. Gotcha. Yeah, it does seem to lose its debuff rather quickly. I wonder if... So, if I were to put the detonators on the dude first... And then mark them if that would work or not work. <laughs> I tried to try to pull a fast one there. Oh no, my man ended his phase early because everyone he was fighting is down. Unfortunate. Just gonna parkour over here. Alright, where's the last guy? Oh, he's slowed down by Bosco. It's such a weird interaction that causes Bosco to change targets. Definitely, I will say. The opportunity cost of the snob being hipster, I can feel it. I mean, that's something that every uh, M1000 overclock has to face, basically. Ooh! Kinda got super injured by the flame geyser. God, it's really annoying not to be able to focus shot to uh, do damage, I mean. You know, to have it just be like a pure debuff Patron. Okay, come on, bro. Oof, almost got hit there. Oh man, he closes the butthole. Alright, Bosco, can you mine these? Mine the rest of Snitra. Ooh. Oh, it'll it'll cause uh, Bosco to stop mining, I think. Kinda rude. Oh, well. No biggie. Hmm, I wonder if the shotgun would have been a better pairing with this guy. So I'm not feeling that that much of a difference, but I'm not exactly running like a test comparison either. I think uh, if I encounter like a couple of Praetorians, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to explode one with the focus shot, explode the other without it. I think that makes sense to me. Be the truest, most honest way to evaluate this. Alright. Theoretically speaking, uh, if I were to shoot him once, 
with the focus shot, all the other M1000 shots would do 55% more damage as well, right? So that could be a way to test. Also, Dreadnought 1 done without too, too much pain. Definitely could have gone better. I think the actual, like, physical layout of the map contributed to the swappiness, though, so I'm not super duper upset. You know, getting roasted by the fire geyser isn't exactly, like, the most conducive to a good bug kill. Am I actually closing in the second one? Oh, that's so lucky. I was kind of just heading just in a random direction. Alright, we're up to like 50 or 60 Nitra. We're closing in to another resupply, so I think we're going to be able to, with the next Gabe's Nitra, resupply the next Dreadnought. I'd really like it if it was the normal Dreadnought, to be honest. I feel like that would be cool. Oh, here's the Nitra. Oh, there's a lot of bugs in this cave that need to be dealt with. Boom, let's go. No, this Brood Nexus might as well be my test dummy. Alright, it's cool. Bosco, kill this guy. Hmm. Support rot, get Bosco. Oh, that second one missed. I also missed that. Please, no. Okay. Well. I got hit with a spitball infector. No. Okay, first things first. Second thing, second. Get your butthole mind. Third thing, third. Retreat. I'll let Bosco deal with all the little guys. I'll try to kill all the big guys. And all the little guys, I guess. Oh, I love you, Bosco. Thank you so much. Killing these little jellyfishes. I can't stand the jellyfishes. Right, where are you? You son of a bitch. Now, right, let's see. So now I hit him with this. Okay, no, no, that's actually a really considerable damage bonus. All things considered. Uh, well, I'm 8 Nitro away. Well, luckily there's a Bane right here, I suppose. I'll call for the mule. Don't think I'm going to be doing this objective. So it's too much of a pain in the ass. I call the supply drop and then attack the dreadnought. It is a normal dreadnought. Well, let's actually go. I'm doing okay-ish on ammo. Could be doing better. Just gonna resupply right now. Hope he doesn't dome me with the explosion. All right, <laughs> that almost got my ass. Okay, definitely melted a little bit. It's just taking a shit ton of damage. That hurt greatly. Oof, you really balanced me to the stratosphere. Alright. Please, please good sir. Thank you. Oh, I messed it up. Was hoping to get some more damage in there before his phase switched. Guy's so fast on his 5.25. Okay, cool. Phase 2 down. Alright, please, good sir. Just do the roar. That is also acceptable.
I love it when you do the roar. Roar for me, baby. No face skipping for me. They might have changed it. Where it's not possible anymore. Not 100% sure. Well, that guy was destroyed very quickly. Like, actually ridiculously quickly, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, I have a hugely strong impression of that Dreadnought kill. Maybe it's just that the Hive Guard uh, took forever and is fucking it for me. Hmm. I'm gonna call the mule. I think I have thoughts, to be honest. I'll save it for when we get back to the drop pod, though. Back to the space rig. Let's just get into the overclock review portion of the video. So, I actually towards the end there, was really, really growing to like the overclock. Now, I will add the caveat that the normal Dreadnought is usually kind of a pushover, but I could really feel damage difference, and the fact that you can just, like, shoot the M1000 normally to capitalize on the debuff, I think is pretty nice. Now, I do think the M the hipster is probably better for solo. And also, I'm going to be, whenever I evaluate an M1000 uh, overclock, I'm going to be doing it in the context of the hipster, because the hipster is like a 5 out of 5. Uh, one thing I was noticing on the negative side is that Clearing out waves of bugs is kind of a pain in the ass when you have, like, normal and non-hipster recoil. Like, I definitely could have, put, like, dialed in and played it better, but the fact remains that with the hipster you can just, like, spam quick sometimes when there's just, like, a huge amount of dudes just on your ass. And I had to play more defensively and focus more mental energy on landing headshots and stuff like that. Which is a negative that pretty much most hipster overclocks uh, have to deal with. Also, uh, very occasionally I use focus shots just to aim better. I know the extra like 5% zoom it just does it for me for a reason. So not having that was a little bit awkward at times. But... I think the combo where you get a bug... You focus shot them, they become weaker, you then dump your entire M1000 clip, or use the Zukovs and dump an entire clip of that. I think that was good. To be honest, I'm, I'm not sure if the explosive mindlets were actually benefiting from it. So that might have been part of the lacklusterness I was feeling, because it might just count some other source of damage or something. So I did, wasn't really getting the super like explosions on that front. But maybe I just was overestimating the explosives damage to begin with. Yeah, no, I, f I feel like it's reasonably effective. Probably much better in groups. Uh, I'm going to give it a... I want to say I'm leaning towards a 4 because I really do appreciate extra like single target damage. Yeah, I think, I think 4 is fine. I was just thinking of, like, the, the other overclock that this would be compared to is the, like, super-cooled chamber rounds or whatever, where it does, like, a bajillion damage uh, when you focus shot something. And I feel like this was as effective as that, kind of. At least from memory. Yeah, a 4 out of 5. Maybe a 3.5 out of 5. Or solo. I can only imagine the carnage that it, uh, it would deal in multiplayer. Especially with the ability, like, the fact that it literally marks targets is also kind of extremely neat. 
So it just illuminates it for the whole party. Yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much my thoughts on that one. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you next time for more Deep Rock Galactic. Goodbye!